going to be looking at a battle today, my friends, on Empire Total War here. And the battle we're going to choose today is the Battle of Fontenoy, 1745. So let's have a look, quick look at the description here just to give us some context, of the historical context here to this battle. It is a fascinating battle, it really, really is. So let's have a look at the description here. It says, The war of the Austrian succession had its roots in the ancient Salic law that said no woman could inherit the Holy Roman Empire. Despite this, Maria, Th Maria Theresa succeeded to, m to most of her father's possessions and there was an understanding among many German princes that her husband could be elected Emperor. Frederick II of Prussia, however, used the dispute to invade Silesia in 1740 to enhance Prussian power and prestige. The war quickly became a European affair as old enmities surfaced once again. The French naturally opposed the Austrian Habsburgs. In 1745, at Fontenoy in the Austrian Netherlands, a French army under the redoubtable Marshal de Sa clashed with the Anglo Dutch Hanoverian force. The battle was an extremely bloody one, with, with, with eventually the French left holding the field against a massed infantry assault by the British and, and their allies. The British defeat encouraged the French rebellion in Scotland, leading directly to the landing of Bonnie Prince Charlie and the Jacobite Rising of the 45. And that, my friends, gives us context here. We are taking the role here, we're taking the part of the French defending, as you can see here from this brief glimpse here, uh, of a hill where we're being assaulted by two British forces and an Austrian and a Dutch force as well. So we will immediately go in. I will pause the battle not to sort of not to not to gain any sort of tactical advantage, but so we can look at the forces against us, the lay of the land, the topography, as it were, of the battlefield, and then we will then take that fight, my friends. But let's let's really have a look, a, a, a real good bash here at this here. As you can see here, we have an army set up here. So we'll go into the army so we know what we're what we have here available. So we've got the general, general de Sap, we've got the uh, Gad de Corps. We've got one, two, three, we've got four line infantry. We've got two Massillon de Roy, which is of course like the guards, as it were, elite infantry. We've got the Hussars, uh, Cuirassiers, one Cuirassier, two Hussars. We've got three 12 pounders. And then we've got the two Irish Brigade, which are effectively mercenaries, as it were. Now, we can't see what the enemy has again really against us here, but we will, of course, as I said, pause the battle and we can see what's going on then. But as you can see, we do have a, 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 a well-rounded force here. We've got artillery, we've got, um, of course, some good cavalry. Hussars were excellent, of course. We've only got one, as it were, one sort of cuirassiers. We do have the garde de corps as well, which would probably really ally itself. Possibly we could have one of each, so maybe depending on where the their deployment. We don't have any control of deployment at all. Deployment has already been um, specified for us. It already is already set up on the on the on the battlefield as it is. But let's begin this battle, my friends. Now, I I don't believe I fought this battle. If I have, it was a very long time ago, so I'm, I can't quite remember what the sort of the layout, the the, the you know the terrain is. Um, I can't remember quite what the raid, the forces of against us are, but. As you can see, my friends, we are going to end this battle. I'm going to pause this battle because, you know, w with many of these battles they start, right, I would like to see what the forces are and what our forces are and where they are. But not for any tactical advantage, merely to give us this rounded look at what we're up against. And, of course, where we are. If we have a hill advantage, the sort of the high ground, it already puts us in, not an advantage, but it, it increases our likelihood of victory, or at least holding to a stalemate. I'm not sure if any of you, my friends, have, have actually fought this battle. If you have, please, and as always, put your comments in down below of what it was like for you, what you did. Maybe you did something different to what I'm about to do. Um, we'll play this fairly much by ear here and see what's going on. So we're going to pause this, my friends. Let's have a quick look at what's going on here. So straight away, we can already see the two British forces in front of us here. They've got line infantry here. As you can see, they go, they've got guards as well here. So we've got <coughs> two guards right in the centre, then we've got three or four line infantry themselves uh, back here is the general and then over to the left flank here we've got two more line infantry, ah oh, look at that, they've got 12 pounders as well, foot artillery themselves so it's quite a hefty British force here, R as you can see we are arrayed, but we'll have a look at our troops in a moment and right by here, look at this, right down here by the river here, we've got the Dutch here, the provinces, we've got horse guards to the general here, they've got their own chop and they've got howitzers, that's an absolute 
brute of uh, fire support there. They've also got line infantry. They haven't brought as much as the British. The British, the British are taking the brunt of this. And then all the way over here, as we can see, we then have the Austrians. We have the general here. Two line infantry, and they've got their own 12 pounders. So let's have a look what we've got here. I think that's everything. What a wonderful map this is. I mean, look at this battlefield. It really is a terrific battlefield. I do admire this one. And it does give the French a huge advantage in terms of of its layout here. But as you can see, they do have we have the line infantry here. We could always fall back to the farmhouse. Then we've got twelve pounders. We've got <coughs> Massey and De Roy and the Massey on De Roy here as well. I do beg your pardon my friends if I pronounce that completely wrong. I probably have oh my goodness me, look at that. What a wonderful sight. So they're effectively the guards of the French army. Then we've got our own 12 pounders here. We've then got two Irish brigades here holding this sort of right flank. Here then in the village here we have our own line infantry and we've got another line infantry here just on the outside but it looks like we're gonna have to use these to hold back the French possibly at the Dutch even and then we've got a 12 pounder here and we've got one line infantry here as well which is going to be absolutely a very hard fight. We do have Hussars here and in reserve we have one more Hussars on the left flank here and then we've got the Garde de Corps and Cordessiers and uh, General de Sap here as well. We'll probably keep here indeed. So let's begin this battle my friends and let's see if we can win this fight here. Or at least hold them to a stalemate. I think we'll immediately put them on a canister shot and indeed these as well. Now let's get our cavalry moving here. We need to take out their artillery as quickly as possible. Can we thread the needle here? Let's get some support over here. We're actually going to thread the needle here. We could fall back to the house here, but they've got artillery. That would absolutely brutalise us here. We've got... get behind them here we can do a lot of damage Get the general in there. All hands to the deck. Oh, look at that. They're going to try and flank us here. Oh my gosh, just me. They've broken us here.
gentlemen. Yes, the British have gone here, sir. Gentlemen, come on, gentlemen, let's go. We've got a lot on this flank here, though. ourselves with these fiends here. Hold on, lads. Double time, gentlemen. Ah, let's give them the run round here. We've fallen back. Oh, gentlemen. They've gone. around here what a fight gen gentlemen oh look at that shattered they've gone One out into them. Square. Come on, that's let's have them. Yes, my infantry's gone. Right, now we can turn to face these gentlemen here. Come on, gentlemen, move. British have been broken. Now we can switch our forces to face this onslaught that's coming this way. Got guards here as well. Come on, they're wavering. Double time, gentlemen. Double time, please.
give the mod four, lads. Oh, for goodness sake, gentlemen. <clears throat> They run the Irish Brigade did well though, I have to be fair, they did very well. That's a spirit, lads. Shaken, we gotta finish them off before the guards arrive. gentlemen Limba You will adapt. Fuck! Tighten the noose! Tighten the noose! There, lads. Oh, what a fight this has been. I have to admit, this has been a wonderful battle. Quick charge. 
One way that you feel. That's it, lads. We've got them. We've won. As soon as the Dutch general is dead, this is over. Look at that. Imagine being the fight on that bridge there. You don't see many bridge battles, but that would have been wonderful, sir. Yes, victory, sir, to France. Oh, what a f wonderful fight that was. Wonderful, my friends. Look at that. Close victory. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. 1,056 enemy killed. Losses of 666. Enemy killed 286, 49 here, and they deployed 258, 744, the Duke of Cumberland. Marshal Konigsegg Konig here, deployed 342, 223 losses, 242 losses, 132 losses, 514 losses here, Prince Valdeck. What a brilliant fight that was, my friends. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that battle. I hope you've enjoyed that as well, my friends. Just a quick battle. And sort of bringing, hopefully bringing some sort of historical context as well to the battle. But I really wanted to sort of bring a battle before the next uh, episode of what I think is going to be the Spanish campaign is going to be next up. Um, I've got a few other things in the pipeline as well which I'm working on in the background. I know that um, my videos have been quite a while coming in between each ones, but things have been absolutely crazily busy of late for me my friends it really has behind the scenes I've been really really busy at the moment um, so unfortunately sort of you know there have been a number of delays in getting videos out on a regular basis I've got a few other things that I'm working on at the moment and I'm gathering sort of re uh, resources for and information for um, so I'm, I'm doing that in the background but that might take again a while for it to come out but you know I'm always I'm always thinking of things that I'd like to bring out things I want to try and do but again time is against me my friends so I do apologize for the lack of sort of regular videos every single week I know I'm gonna manage to get one or two out some most, most of the time let's be honest one a week so I really do apologize for that my friends but I hope you enjoy them hope you enjoy this battle there will be a Spanish campaign um, coming out very soon after this now as well things have eased back a little bit this week for me um, so hopefully I'm going to be able to get one or two videos out this coming week um, so fingers crossed that holds uh, still my friends unless something comes up this week out of the blue which of course prevents me from doing so but I hope you've enjoyed this and again please put down in the comments my friends if there's any tactical mistakes that you saw me make of, of, of course there's going to be because I, I make many of those but again how would you have done things differently have you fought this campaign let me know what you did when you fought this battle here um, and how did you do things differently what would you have done differently to what I did you know p please always constructive criticism is always vital it really is the lifeblood of sort of any um, sort of a, a, a campaign I've got here. It really is your, your constructive criticism, your proposals, your plans, everything you put down here really does help uh, me become a much, much better commander, as it were, because I'm drawing on the vast experiences out there from the council. It really is an absolute joy to read all your comments. And please don't ever be afraid to sort of voice your opinion, as long as it, as I said, as long as it's constructive, as, as all of it is. You know, all of you are absolutely fantastic. You've got such kind, kind words, and, you know, sort of really, I really do appreciate the wonderful comments. It really is absolutely fantastic. I have such a wonderful, close-knit community around this channel, and it really does mean a lot. It really does, my friends. But whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great time. Be safe my friends and, and again please get your comments down below if you enjoy this hopefully there'll be another another battle coming out very soon but as I said a few other things maybe a few other things in a different total war as well I'm looking at Rome 2 maybe do something a little bit different in Rome 2 maybe even bring some Rome 2 battles as well um, and I've got a little something I'd like to do in possibly in Rome 2 but make it completely different to what I normally do in terms of bringing a real sense of sort of almost um, almost bringing sort of a series to of, of it and bringing some real depth to that series um, making it almost like a TV series as it were so that's something I've got planned anyway I thought I'd let you know something I've got hovering in my mind there I've got another I've got nothing else as well which is not um, which is not sort of total war orientated but it brings its influence from total war if you understand what I mean so the influence for the series is brought from Total War, um, and you know I'm going to sort of maybe change and alter through you know a few things, up, shake things a little bit up, uh, up in the future, my friends. In the next couple of months, but anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, again, please comment. Thank you, my friends, for all your wonderful friendship as well. For your wonderful friendship, it really does mean a lot. But until next time, my friends, bye for now.